Well, hello there, what's going on my fellow pixel loaders? This is about Lucky HD here, and today we're going to have a Minecraft pixel tutorial build on show you here to Deathster. Today we're doing part 6. Before we get into this build, one thing I do have to quickly say our main focus right now is Naruto versus Sasuke. That is going to be the main build, and we're going to be constantly doing that daily. But at the same time, you might see this build that Shoyu Hinata as a second upload on some days. Because as you know, we changed the method. And we had like five builds when we changed the method. So I want to try and just get these builds out just slightly quicker. Again, Shoyu Hinata won't be daily. The root of this Sasuke is going to be the daily build. But occasionally you might see a Shoyu Hinata build as a second upload. Once we do finish the root of this Sasuke though, we will move on to Shoyu Hinata. That is, if we didn't complete Shoyu Hinata before the root of this Sasuke. As this build is smaller, we might complete it quicker. But again, with that all being said, let's get straight into this video. And if you did enjoy this video, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe as well. And I do apologise for the inconvenience for, for waiting for these builds because you will wait a bit. But once we get to the build, it will be all released basically day after day. So you don't have to wait any longer than that. But without further ado, we're going to be flying over to the left hand side on the hair where we left off last time. And as you can see, with the very first part of the hair where it starts here, we place the one going up here, the black concrete, as you can see, is floating right there. And we're going to go off this area right here. So I'm just going to place a gold block in here just so you can see where we're going off. And now I'm going to zoom out. And as you can see, we're going to be going off that area right there. So I'm going to fly in towards here. And once we have flown in towards here, we're going to place 13 black concrete going up from here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. And as you can see, there should be 14 going up there in total, including the one that was floating on top. Once we have done that, though, do an upright diagonal from here. And from this upright diagonal, place 4 on top of here. So, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And once we place 4 going up here, we're going to place 1 to the left, but I'm going to fly in towards the right by one, so back to this right corner here. And we're going to do a up right diagonal from here. Now once you've done this, we're going to zoom out a little bit. So as you can see, this is what we should have done so far. And once we have zoomed out here, we're going to be going off the left one first. And we're probably going to do that up right diagonal one in a different part because there's actually a lot of detail in the hair in this build so we're going to be going off the left one and filling in all the outline for the hair inside here so without further ado fly to that one sticking out to the left right there and once we've flown to this one sticking out to the left we're going to do an up left diagonal from here and from this up left diagonal we're going to do two bottom left diagonals from here so one and two from the second bottom left diagonal, place one to the left, just like so. And from this one that we just placed to the left, do another bottom left diagonal from here, just like so. And there we go, that little bit there is done, so we're going to zoom out. And we now want to fly back to the up left diagonal that we did. So basically, that up left diagonal from the one to the second to the left, we want to fly back to there, right there. Once we have flown back into here, we're going to do four up right diagonals from here. So, one two, three, and four. From this fourth one, we're going to place one on top, just like so. We're then going to do two upright diagonals from here. So one and two. From the second one, place one on top, just like so. We're then going to do three upright diagonals from here. So one, two, and three. From this third one, place one on top, just like so. Then we're going to repeat this two here, Two more times in a up right diagonal direction. So, do an up right diagonal, place one on top. That's one. Do another up right diagonal, place another one on top. That's two. And that should be three of those twos in total in a up right diagonal direction. So, one, two, and three. As you can see, we've got three of them. So, fly back to the top one. And then do another two up right diagonals from here. So, one, and two. From the second one, place one on top, just like so. Then do another upright diagonal from here. From this upright diagonal, we're going to do a bottom right diagonal. And from this bottom right diagonal, we're going to place two underneath, so one and two. We're then going to do a bottom left diagonal from here. And from this bottom left diagonal, we're going to place two underneath as well, so one and two. Once we've done that, we're going to fly up a bit. 
And this three right here, so we fly in a right diagonal direction to this three right here that we've just done. So basically the bottom right diagonal that we did from this up right diagonal, we want to fly back to here and we want to do a up right diagonal from here. And once you've done this up right diagonal, place one on top and then do two up right diagonals from here. So one and two. Once you've done this, zoom out quickly. And we now want to fly back to this single right diagonal that's on its own right here. So fly back in towards here. Once we've flown back in towards here, we're going to place one on top, just like so. And once we've done that, do an upright diagonal from here. And then place one on top. As you can see, that upright diagonal does connect in a bottom right diagonal direction to the top of that two there. But proceeding back on from this two here, from the one that we just placed on top, do another upright diagonal from here. And from this upright diagonal, we're going to place one on top. We're then going to place one to the right and fly in towards the left and do an up left diagonal from here. And then there we go. I'll zoom out quickly so you can see what we're doing in that little area right there. So that's what we should have done in that area. Once we have done that, we're going to fly to the one sticking out to the right here, right here. So flying towards here. And once we've flown to this one sticking out to the right here, we're going to place another seven going to the right. So one two three four five six and seven then do an upright diagonal from here and from this upright diagonal we're going to place six going to the right so one two three four five and six then do another upright diagonal from here and from this upright diagonal place one going to the right then do another upright diagonal and from this upright diagonal, place another one going to the right, just like so. Then do another upright diagonal from here. And from this upright diagonal, place two going to the right. So one and two. And then do another upright diagonal from here. And from this upright diagonal, place one to the right, just like so. And then we're going to do four upright diagonals from here. So one, two, three, and four. And once we've done these four, we're going to zoom out. Because that should be everything done right there in that little line there. As you can see, that's what we should be looking like right there. Now, once we have done this, we're going to fly to that up left diagonal that we did over here. So, fly over towards here. Once we've flown to this up left diagonal, fly in here. And once we have flown here, we are going to place two going to the left from here. So, one and two. We're then going to do two up left diagonals. So, one and two. From the second up left diagonal, place one to the left, just like so. And do another up left diagonal from here. From this up left diagonal, place another one going to the left. And then we're going to do two up left diagonals from here. So one and two. And from this second up left diagonal, we're going to place one on top this time, just like so. But I'm going to do three up left diagonals from here. So one, two, and three. From this third up left diagonal, we're going to place one on top, just like so. We're then going to place one to the right. And then we're going to fly in towards the left by one, so back to this left corner here. And we're going to place one on top, and then do an up left diagonal from here. Once we've done this, fly back to the one sticking out to the right, right here. So fly back in towards here. Once we have flown back in towards here, we're going to do two bottom right diagonals from here. So one and two and from the second one place one to the right just like so and do another bottom right diagonal from here and from this bottom right diagonal place one to the right just like so again then do another bottom right diagonal from here and from this bottom right diagonal place four going to the right so one two three and four then as you can see from this five in total that we've just done here from the very end piece here we want to do a up right diagonal from here, and we also want to do a bottom right diagonal from this spot here. So, do an up right diagonal, and then do a bottom right diagonal. It's the exact same edge. And there we go, that's what we should be looking like right there. So we're going to go off the bottom right diagonal first, then we'll come back to the up right diagonal. So fly in towards the bottom right diagonal here, and once we've flown back in towards here, we're going to place 9 going to the right from here. So 1, 2, three four five six seven eight and nine once you place nine going along to the right here do an upright diagonal from here 
from this upright diagonal, place the one to the right. And there we go, that little area there is done. Once you've done that, fly to this upright diagonal right here. And once we've flown into this upright diagonal, place the two going to the right. So one, two. Then do another upright diagonal. From this upright diagonal, place two to the right. So one and two. Then do another upright diagonal. And this time place one to the right. Then do another upright diagonal. From this upright diagonal, we're going to place one going to the right. We're then going to place one on top. We're then going to place one to the right again. Then place one on top. Then fly down by one. So back to underneath this one that we just placed on top. And place one going to the right from here, just like so. And we're then going to go off this right one first, and we'll come back to that top one again after we complete this right one. So, from this one going to the right, we're going to do three upright diagonals from here. So one, and two, and three. And from this third one, place one to the right, just like so. And then do five upright diagonals from here. So one, two, three, four, and five. And there we go, we're also done with that little area there. So, fly back to the one sticking up here that I said we'll come back to. So flying towards here. Once we have flown towards here, we're going to do six upright diagonals from here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then place one on top, just like so. Once you've done this, do another two upright diagonals from here. So one and two. From the second upright diagonal, place the one on top, just like so. And then repeat this two here two more times in a upright diagonal direction. So do an upright diagonal, place one on top, that's one. Another upright diagonal, place another one on top, and that's two. And that should be three of those twos in total, right there. So one, two, and three. Once we've done three of these, fly back up to the top one here, do another upright diagonal from here. And from this upright diagonal, place two on top, so one and two. And then do another upright diagonal from the top of here, just like so. And then from this upright diagonal, place one on top, then place one to the right, and fly back in towards the left. And from the left, place one on top, just like so. Then, we're going to place one to the left, and from this one that we just placed to the left, do two up left diagonals. So one and two. From the second one, we're going to place two to the left. So one and two. And then do another up left diagonal. And there we go. That little bit there is done. We're going to fly. We are going to fly back to that one sticking up to the right. But we're not going to fly there quite yet. We just need to check something before we fly over there. So first of all, take out our gold block. And from this up left diagonal at the very top here. We are just going to go all the way to the left and we should hit the black concrete. And right, sticking up all the way to the left as well. And there we go. As you can see, we've hit the black concrete just like so. And what does that mean? That means we've done everything going up here correctly so far. Which that was actually kind of quicker than I thought it was going to be. But again, we're still not quite done yet. Still one more little part to do. We're going to fly to this one sticking out to the right, right here. So flying towards here. And once we've flown to this one sticking out to the right, we're going to place 15 going to the right. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And once you've placed 15 going to the right here, do an upright diagonal from here. From this upright diagonal, place 2 to the right, so 1 and 2. Then do another upright diagonal, place 1 to the right. And then do another upright diagonal and place another one to the right, just like so. And then finally, but not least, do another upright diagonal. Once we've done this upright diagonal, take out our gold block and go all the way over to the left. Once again, and we should hit the black concrete that we just did earlier. As you can see, we've hit it just like so. What does that mean? That means we've done everything up here correctly as well, going along to the right. So, once again, destroy these gold blocks. And once we have done this, we are going to zoom out, so we can have a look what we've done, which, that, as I said, that took a lot quicker than I thought it was going to take. I generally didn't think it was going to take that quick, but apparently it did. I guess actually in the end it isn't a lot, but it felt like it was a lot more when I was looking on it on my, um, my Photoshop version of it, but, well, yeah, I guess not so much. 
Well, I guess we've got a bit more time, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to complete a bit more of the outline. And we're also going to get the ear. I think that's what we're going to try and do. So, without further ado, fly back up to that little right diagonal that I said we weren't going to come back to, which we are coming back to now. So, fly back up to here. And once we have flown to this up, back to this upright diagonal, we are going to do another two upright diagonals from here. So one and two. From the second upright diagonal, place one to the right, just like so. We're then going to do another upright diagonal from here. From this upright diagonal, we're going to do a bottom right diagonal. From this bottom right diagonal, we're going to place one underneath, just like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fly out a bit. And as you can see, this two right here that we just done, we're going to repeat this two here two more times in a bottom right diagonal direction. So, do a bottom right diagonal, place one underneath, that's one. Do another bottom right diagonal, place another one underneath, and that is two. That should be three of those twos in total. One, two, and three. As you can see, we've got three of them. Once we've got three of them, fly back down to the bottom one here. Once we've flown back to the bottom one here, do a bottom right diagonal from here. From this bottom right diagonal, we're going to place one to the right, just like so. We're then going to place one underneath and fly up by one, so back up to here. And we're going to place ten on top. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're then going to place one to the left, then fly into the right by one, so back to here, and place one on top. Just like so. And we're going to go off this top one first. And we're going to do three upright diagonals from here. So. One. Two. And three. And there we go. That little bit there is done. So fly to the one sticking out to the left right here. Once we've flown to this one sticking out to the left. Do two bottom left diagonals from here. So one. And two. And let me just go and place that back quickly. And from the second bottom left diagonal. Place one to the left just like so. And that one that we just placed to the left connects in a bottom left diagonal direction back to this singular upright diagonal. And as you can see, there's a two a bottom right diagonal with one underneath it as well, connecting to that singular upright diagonal. And I'll, I'll zoom out quickly so you can have see what we've done. Once again, we are going to complete the air. I'm not, I'm not going to do too much because I don't want to. I don't want to do too much today, as this is a second upload. I have to edit this and everything as well, so we won't make these too long. But again. Fly back to that one that we're sticking underneath here in this little area here. So flying towards here. Once we're flying back towards here, we're going to place 10 going underneath from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And once we've done 10 from here, we're going to do a bottom right diagonal for now. And from this bottom right diagonal, we're going to place 4 going underneath. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then fly all the way at the top of this four, so back up to the top here, and do an upright diagonal. And then we're going to zoom out quickly, and we're going to leave that there for now. And what we're going to do now is, from this ten that we just went underneath, from the very bottom, so to this little spot right here, we're going to place one gold block going to the left from here. So we should be looking like that right there, basically. Once we have done that, fly back to the gold block, take our black concrete, and place one going to the left, just like so. And once we've done this, we're going to place one underneath and fly back up by one, so back up to here, and place one to the left. We're then going to place one on top and fly down by one, so back into this left corner here, this little spot. And we're going to do three bottom left diagonals from here. So one, two, and three. From this third bottom left diagonal, place one to the left, just like so. And there we go. We'll zoom out quickly. So we're going to go from the one sticking underneath first, and then we'll go back to the one on top. So fly to the one underneath, and from this one underneath, we're going to do a bottom right diagonal from here. From this bottom right diagonal, we're going to place two underneath, so one and two. We're then going to do a bottom left diagonal. From this bottom left diagonal, place one underneath, just like so. we do another bottom left diagonal from here. And from this bottom left diagonal, we're going to place three underneath. So one, two, and three. We're then going to do a bottom right diagonal, and from this bottom right diagonal, place one underneath. Then do another bottom right diagonal from here, and from this bottom right diagonal, place another one underneath, just like so. We're then going to do three bottom right diagonals from here, so one, two, and three. 
and from this third one place one underneath just like so we're then going to do another bottom right diagonal from here and from this bottom right diagonal we're going to place four underneath so one two three and four and then do a bottom left diagonal from here from this bottom left diagonal we're going to place one going to the left just like so we're then going to do an up left diagonal and from this up left diagonal place two on top so one and two then do another up left diagonal and from this up left diagonal place two going to the left so one and two then do two up left diagonals from here so one and two from the second one place one on top just like so then do another two up left diagonals from here so one and two and from this second one we're going to place two on top so one and two and then do another up left diagonal from here and place another two on top so one and two and then there we go that little section there is done right there and once we've done that we're going to fly back up to the one that i said we're going to fly back up to that is on top here so fly back up to here and once we've flown back to this one on top here we're going to place two going on top so one and two once we've done this do an up left diagonal from this up left diagonal place two on top so one and two and then do another up left diagonal from here and place another two on top so one and two and do another up left diagonal and from this up left diagonal place one on top and fly underneath and place one to the left just like so and fly back up to the one on top do an up left diagonal from here and there we go that little bit there is done then fly back to the one sticking out to the left do a bottom left diagonal from here and then place two underneath so one and two and then there we go that's the ear done so we're going to zoom out oh before we zoom out let's go and destroy that gold block as well because we won't be needing that there we go destroyed that and now we're just going to give a full zoom out which is the part i hate the most because for some reason i can never get out fast enough we'll try and get everything in frame i, I struggle i don't know why i just struggle i guess because they're so big Wait, why what, what was my hand in the way, see? There you go. Uh, that That's good enough. I mean, you've got everything in frame anyway. But that is going to be all for today. Again, thank you for watching this video. And if you didn't enjoy this video, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe as well. Because that would be much appreciated and helps out the channel a lot. And as I said before, for those that don't know, this is going to be kind of like a secondary upload. The main upload is going to be in the root of this task until we complete that. And occasionally we'll have this as a second upload on that day. And once we do have completed the Ruby Sasuke, we will do Shuri Hinata if we are still doing Shuri Hinata. Which, what I mean by that is, if we haven't completed it as it is, a smaller build than the Ruby Sasuke. So, but again, it depends on how much I can upload and how much spare time I do have to upload two videos on one day. Because I have to edit, upload and design other builds and suggestions on top of that. So, we'll see how much I can get done. But without further ado, that is the end of today's video. And peace out, enjoy the rest of your day and goodbye.